viewer discretion is advised. Another weekend, another week of turning some paperwork. Don't go, Ava. How are we gonna get assistance if if we if I don't go? Are you scared, Caprice? Yeah. No, well, I know you're scared of moving. We all are. Ellie, you have not been off the couch since Monday night. I know. I mean, I'm really upset about this move. Because Caprice, Ella, and I are not going to be on the motherfucking streets of Fort Wayne. Ella got anything, anything, anything nice to say to the to property manager? Fuck you! <gasps> that is a bad girl. Yeah. Fuck you. Did you not hear yourselves? No. Caprice, did you not hear yourself? Yeah. You said fuck you to the property manager. That is a bad kitty. So? She deserved it. <laughs> oh, I get it, Caprice and Ella. I see what's going on now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he said fuck you to the to the property manager. That's good. a good kitty saying fuck you to the property manager yeah she got what she deserved you know that well you're right caprice i'm gonna fucking hiss yeah yeah ava Bitch got where she deserved. Yeah, I understand that part. She didn't even know your your spade. Yeah.
I tell you. This could be bad. I just contacted two men in a truck here in town. And I'm going to get a quote pretty soon. Okay. That's news to me. Did you hear any of that, Caprice? Yeah, I did. Contacted a mover, who I think would help. Yeah. Good. Caprice. What is your deal? I don't know. Ah, fuck my life, Ava. Just fuck my life. Really hard. Yeah, I love my Caprice Kitty Kitty. Yeah, sure love my Caprice. Yeah, sure love my Caprice Kitty Kitty. Bitch. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Bitch! Put that paw down, Caprice. Put that paw down. Oh, wait a minute. Are you pretending I'm the property manager? But I'm not, because I'm not. Yeah, I am. That's good, Caprice. Just like I taught you. Yeah. It's almost 10 o'clock. June 24th. for the benefit of viewers who have not heard of Brian Randolph. But when you hear why his family said he did it, it will just break your heart. Take a look. Brian Randolph's family tells Action News he robbed a bank to pay for his daughter's chemo treatments. At just one year old, one year old rather, his daughter Braylon is battling a form of eye cancer. The family says her insurance was abruptly canceled because of a problem with some paperwork, forcing the 23-year-old dad to make a desperate decision. Investigators say surveillance photos show Randolph giving a teller a note at this Vibe Credit 
Union in South Lyon back on August 12th, saying he had a gun. He took off with cash. Police did catch up with him two days later in Detroit and charged him with robbery. Brian Randolph had a daughter named Brayley. It was Braylon Randolph. Who had cancer of the eye and was undergoing chemotherapy treatments, which can be expensive. The insurance lapsed. Brian Randolph robbed a credit union in Michigan so he could pay for his daughter's cancer treatments. One day after our story on one-year-old Braylon Randolph and her struggles to now beat cancer without insurance that was suddenly canceled, her mother is getting some answers from the state of Michigan. They told me that I should have known that since my daughter's her one that I had to automatically reapply to see if I still get approved. Braylon's father so desperate his family claims he robbed a bank to pay for her expensive chemo treatments. His follow-up interview after he was arrested, you know, we asked him why and he basically told us that his daughter has cancer and um, there was some type of snafu as far as the insurance coverage from the state and he said that they may have inadvertently removed her from receiving benefits. 23-year-old Brian Randolph was in court this morning accused of robbing a Vibe Credit Union in South Lyon two weeks ago. Detectives now also saying he used some of the money to pay rent and also had what looked like new merchandise with him. The focus, though, continues to be on little Bray Lynn and making sure she has a fighting chance against retinoblastoma, a form of eye cancer. Other families telling her mother they're going through similar issues. Do you think there's other people out there falling through the cracks, I guess, with this? Yes, um, it's not just me. I have also, since the story has aired, have got emails and people just writing me on Facebook and things saying that their kids were also cut off. When Brian Randolph came back to court today, the room was full of friends and family. As you can see, Mr. Randolph has over 25 family members and friends in court to support him. The 23-year-old is accused of robbing a South Lyon credit union last month. His family says he did it because he was desperate to pay for his daughter Braylon's expensive chemo treatments. But detectives say some of the money Randolph allegedly stole was used to pay rent, and what looked like new clothes and shoes were found with him. It's a bank robbery, an armed robbery. It doesn't get much more fearful to a public than that. The judge decided to keep Randolph locked up on $500,000. We're so glad that little Braylon is doing fine right now. Now, her mom tells me that the state told her that she should have reapplied for insurance coverage for Braylon once she turned one, but her mom says she didn't know that that was part of the procedure. Right now, she is still in talks with the insurance company. She is hopeful. She is keeping her fingers crossed that they will get that coverage back soon. Of course, we'll stay on this and keep you posted. You know, every day in this country, somebody has a tragedy. But very, 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 very few people decide the way to deal with that tragedy is by going to rob a bank and then blaming DHS and everybody else and then telling the media, oh, I did it to save my daughter while you're running to Chicago and going on a shopping spree. You're not standing here in front of me. You send me all these letters and you tell me what a wonderful guy you're not. You're not. You're a bank robber. The way you should have dealt with your daughter was by doing everything you could with DHS or with whoever it was the right way. I don't want you to argue with me. <laughs> he claimed he robbed a credit union in South Lyon because he was out of options and had a child who needed chemo treatments. So did an Oakland County judge show mercy? Let's bring in Mara McDonald. Mara, man had a lot to say at sentencing today. There are some days in court when a defendant is getting sentenced that perhaps it is better that he does not open his mouth. And today was just that day. Take a look. I start to think about my daughter. I never harm her, never gonna hurt anyone. I'm not a bad person at all. Brian Randolph claimed he held up a South Lyon credit union because he needed to pay for his daughter's chemotherapy appointments. That's the story he told the police, press, and judge. One small problem, according to the prosecutor. Uh, and what he did after the crime, after he got this on one, is not sympathetic. He did go to Chicago, he did, did go on a shopping spree. When he was arrested in his car, there was a receipt inside the Gucci bag from 8.13, the day after the robbery. From Somerset Mall at 7.13 p.m., he purchased a t-shirt for $190, a pair of slippers for $160. In addition, there was an H&M bag with a receipt from the day before. That where he purchased uh, on that day, that morning, he purchased clothing on Michigan Avenue in Chicago. You heard right. He went on a shopping spree to Somerset and to Michigan Avenue in Chicago. The judge was not amused. 
and then telling the media, oh, I did it to save my daughter, while you're running to Chicago and going on a shopping spree. And now you're standing here in front of me, you send me all these letters, and you tell me what a wonderful guy you're not. You're not, you're a bank robber. The judge was so thoroughly not amused, he sentenced him to three to 25 years in prison and is demanding $5,000 in restitution. He got three years for bank robbery. Although I really do not 100% agree with it. There were other options. And my point in showing people that was just what could happen. If Caprice, Ella, and I do not get the assistance that we desperately fucking need. Want more Caprice and Ella? Subscribe to our channel and get notified of new videos. Also visit capriceandella.avazin.com for updates and watch full episodes now in 4K Ultra High Definition.